Mark, tell me a bit about the complications that may occur when a patient, child, or teen has an episode of acute pancreatitis. Yeah, fortunately, most children don't have complications, but unfortunately, a percentage do. And the most common complications that we see in children are collections of fluid around the pancreas. And those typically they will resolve on their own over time, but sometimes they do enlarge and they can cause obstruction of different organs, the stomach, the small intestine, even of the tube that drains bile from the liver. And that can become infected or they can bleed into those collections as well. Another thing that we see sometimes is that patients will get fluid in the left side of their chest, so-called pleural fluid, and that can present with trouble breathing, and the children may need supplemental oxygen. Rarely would they need to have that fluid drained or removed. Kidney failure, which is seen more often in adults, is pretty uncommon in children, but you can have uh, kidney failure as well as the failure of other organs in somebody who is severely ill with the acute pancreatitis. In pediatrics, I think those complications are much less common than is seen in adults, uh, but we still need to watch for those issues and react accordingly and treat the patients appropriately when they do occur. And is there anything that families could do to prevent a complicated course of acute pancreatitis? I don't think there's anything that the family themselves can do. We're still trying to understand what's the best treatment courses to prevent some of these complications. And we've made some progress, but there's still a long way to go, and, and they do happen. And when the child is in the hospital, our job as physicians is to monitor and make sure that there's no evidence for those complications and react to them when they do occur. And then for some of the complications, such as fluid, there can be treatments, primarily draining that fluid.